Hi, this is question 2 from the AQA Core 4 January 2013 exam paper. Um, for the first part of this video I'd like you to have a go at the question yourself, so if you'd like to pause the video now and just try the question. OK, well done if you managed to have a go. For the next part of this video I'm now going to go over a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So, um, we're given this function here and we're trying to express it um, in the form a over 3 take away x plus b over 1 um, plus 3x where a and b are integers so um, we first of all want to say that this here is always equal to this here so we're going to um, write it as an identity we then choose values of x Sorry, we then um, need to multiply the um, denominator across um, and, and see how that simplifies this side. Um, we then want to choose values of x um, that are going to eliminate the a or the b so that we can work out um, what, the, what the values of a and b are. Um, we can then go ahead and write it in this form. OK, part b says um, find the first three terms of the binomial expansion um, in the form here. So for this question um, you may want to do um, the expansion of this here um, and the expansion of this here uh, and you can use the formula that's, that appears in the formula book to help you do that and um, if you do that separately and then, and then add, to, add them together at the end um, you only need the first um, three terms of each um, and you can add them together and, and you can write it in this form here. Um, uh, for part two you need to state why the binomial expansion cannot be expected to give a good approximation for um, when x is equal to 0 0.4. Well think about how this bit relates to this question here. So you're looking at how this bit relates to the question. OK, those are my hints. If you'd allow, um, like to stop the video and, um, and have a go yourself, and I'll go over the answers shortly. OK, the next part of the video is going to be the full solutions um, to this question. So, let's put it out of the way. It's going to give myself a little bit more room to work in here. Pop that up here. Okay, so um, we're going to start off by expressing um, our function in this form here. So I'm going to start by saying, well, 7x subtract 1 all over 1 plus 3x is always equal to Yeah, so what we're saying here is that this is going to be true for any value of, of x and obviously we, we're trying to find the constants a and b so um, what I'm um, initially going to do is multiply this to the other side so I've got 7x of chapter 1 and that's going to be equal to and if I um, multiply this by this um, the three subtract x's will cancel each other out so I'm left with a and 1 plus 3x and similarly over here I'm going to be left with plus b and the 1 plus 3x will cancel each other out and I've got 3 subtract x. OK, um, now I'm going to try um, different values um, of x. So I'm first going to say um, x is equal to, so when x is equal to 3. I've chosen 3 because I know that this is going to um, make this zero, which means my only unknown will be a. Okay, let's move that along slightly. Right, so, so when x is three, that's going to be um, twenty-one take away one, which is twenty. Um, twenty is equal to, and that's going to be nine ten a. And this bit here, as we decided, is going to be 0. OK, so that tells me that um, a is going to be equal 
to 2. OK, so now um, I can choose a value of, of negative a third and, and, and make this error, but I actually know that a is 2 already, so I'm just going to choose any value um, for x, so I'm just going to choose um, x to be 0. So when x is 0, um, we're going to have a negative 1 on this side, and that's going to be equal to, I know a is 2, so I'm going to have 2 times 1 plus 0 which is 2 plus and 3 subtract 0 is 3 so I'm going to have 3b ok so that means that 3b is going to be equal to negative 3 which means that b is going to be equal to negative 1 ok so finally um, we've been asked to express this in this form here so I now need to write it down as um, f of x is equal to a, which is 2, over 3 subtract x, um, and subtract, that's b, 1 over 1 plus 3x. And there you go. Right. So that's part A, um, we're now going to move on to part B, I'm just going to move part A over. Okay, for part B, um, we are finding the first three terms of this expansion in this form here. So um, I'm going to start by expanding um, this bit here, so I'm going to do the expansion of 2, oops. Three minus x to the power of minus one. Yes, yeah, so we're doing this bit here, and I've written it in this form. Um, but before I do this expansion, I need to have it in the form one plus x um, to the power of m. So in order to do that, I need to factorise this. Um, so this is going to be equal to, um, and I've got two, and. I'm just going to use square brackets. So um, if I factorise this, I've got 3, and that's going to be 1, take away a third x. Okay, so this is equal to this here, and I'm going to take all of that to the power of negative 1. Okay, so um, 3 to the power of negative 1 is a third. So this is going to be equal to 2 thirds of 1 take away a third x to the power of negative 1. OK, so this is what I'm now going to do my expansion on. So um, my expansion, um, this is going to be equal to, and we're going to have 2 thirds of um, so I'm going to have 1 plus n times x, so negative 1 times negative a third x, which is going to be a plus a third x plus, and then we've got n times n take away 1. So that's going to be... Um, uh, minus 1 times minus 2 which is 2 over 1 times 2 which is just going to be 1 so it's going to be plus 1 le lots of x squared so that's going to be negative a third x squared which is going to be 1 ninth of x squared um, and we've got everything up to our x squared term there so that's going to be that ok now separately I'm going to work out the expansion of um, this bit here. So this time we've got 1 over 1 plus 3x, so that's going to be 1 plus 3x to the power of negative 1. So that's going to be um, equal to, and I don't need to change this in any way, it's already um, in this form, so I can start expanding it straight away. So again I'm going to have um, 1 plus 
n to the times x. So that's going to be subtract 3x. And um, and then I've got this bit here, so n times n subtract 1, so that's negative 1, um, negative 2, so that's going to be 2, and 1 times 2 is 2, so 2 over 2 is just 1, um, and then we've got x squared, um, which is going to be plus 9x squared. And um, there you go, we've got it all up to our x squared term. Okay, so now, um, in order to do the um, expansion of this, I would need to do um, this, subtract this, so that means I need to do this, subtract this, so um, my expansion is going to be 2 over 3. plus 1 ninth x squared subtract 1 ok and um, I can multiply um, this out so I've got um, 2 thirds plus 2 ninths x plus 2 27 x squared subtract 1 plus 3x and subtract 9x squared ok and um, simplifying this so I've got 2 thirds subtract 1 which is going to be negative a third I've got 2 ninths of x plus 3x, so that's going to be um, 27 ninths of x, so that's going to be plus 29 ninths of x. Um, and then I've got 2 27ths of x squared, take away um, 9x squared, and um, work that out to be 241 over 27x squared. And if you've got one of those cool calculators um, that, that do uh, fractions for you, um, then, then you might want to stick that into your, into your calculator just to double check that you've got the calculations correct. Okay, so, so this is going to be the full expansion, um, sorry, not the full expansion, the um, first three terms of the expansion um, of this here. Okay, now part two so that was um, part one. Okay, part two. Uh, we need to say why the binomial expansion cannot be expected to be given a good approximation for our function when x is equal to 0 0.4. Well, looking over here, we're saying the modulus of x has got to be less than 1. So um, that means that the mod for this expansion to be true, um, we we're saying that the modulus of x has got to be um, well for this one has got to be less than a third so um, because um, x um, because 0 0.4 is bigger than a third um, this is going to be outside of the range. 0 0.4 is going to be outside of a range. So we can say um, this is um, not not going to be a good approximation as it is outside the valid range. Outside the valid range um, and our range is saying that the modulus of x has got to be less than a third of 0 0.333 which obviously this isn't. Okay, um, that's all of it. Thanks very much for joining me for that and I'll see you again soon.